Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ria. Today I'll be teaching you how to play Letter by Jimin. It's been quite a while since I did a Bangtan content, so yeah. These are the four chords that we need to know to play the entire song. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know the fingering position. To play F chord, take our index finger, place it on the first fret, second string, middle finger on the second fret, fourth string. Yep. And then we're going to play E minor. Index finger, place it on the 2nd fret, 1st string Middle finger on the 3rd fret, 2nd string And then our ring finger on the 4th fret, 3rd string mm -hmm. Next, we're going to play D minor Index finger again, back It's like we're going to play F chord, F chord is like this, right? Just place our ring finger below our middle finger mm -hmm. Last chord for this song is C major 7 Take our ring finger, place it on the 2nd fret, 1st string now to sound like the original song, we need to put a capo and place it on the first fret like this mm. And just play along with the chords So F, E minor, and then D minor and C major 7 That's like the chord progression But like any of my other tutorials, I don't use capo So yeah, let's just leave it, okay? Let's play without capo Guys, the day has finally come I'm going to teach you how to pluck again So yeah, we're going to pluck a little bit As I mentioned earlier, we're going to play this chord progression F, E minor, D minor, and C major 7 So make sure that we can move the chord transition smoothly, okay? Especially from F to E minor I think that's kind of tricky Yeah, so just keep moving the chords back and forth until we can do it smoothly, yeah? There are actually two ways to play this song The first one is by plucking, in which I am going to teach you And the second one is way simpler, like this We're just going to strum four times each chord From the beginning until the end of the song So, for example That's it if you don't want to pluck But I think it's more accurate if we do the plucking So let's go, okay? Let's learn! Oh, and also, we don't need to do anything with the fourth string So whatever finger we're putting here doesn't really matter But to make it less complicated, let's just play the chords the way it is, okay? Even though we don't touch this at all, yeah? What we're going to do first is place our left hands as if we're going to play the chord So F chord as a start, okay? And then take our thumb, place it on the third string, okay? And then take our middle finger, place it on the second string, and our ring finger on the first string. What we're going to do is pluck the third string, and then pluck the second and first together. Yeah, so it's going to be... Yeah. And then we're going to do it eight times, so like this. One. Yeah, there's a little bit different during the C major 7 there So during the 5th time, we're going to just drum once mm -hmm. Let's try with the lyrics slowly One. Now, if you feel like the plucking pattern is a little bit too hard for you right now, it's okay, okay? We can always play the strumming pattern four times each chord, yeah? Like how I mentioned earlier. 
And if you do feel like maybe this video is a bit too fast for you, feel free to pause and rewind, okay? We're entering the chorus in which it is going to be so much easier than the plucking pattern because all we need to do here in the first chorus and I guess until the second verse is to strum four times each chord. Yeah, pretty much like that. Yeah. I say ho ho. going to strum a bit more today's tutorial mm, yeah it's a bit hard in this song yeah but don't give up okay i believe in you just remember to keep practicing be patient and rest yeah that's yeah those are the keys actually okay 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 yeah <laughs> anyway i really hope this tutorial can be helpful if it does please support me by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be so grateful to you guys thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time bye